Hello, my name is Mr. Jackson, and I'm finna show you how to put on a chainsaw. Here's some quick tip videos. First of all, you always go with steel because steels is some of the better brands that really have uh, <coughs> less breakdowns because they made right. That's just my opinion. All right. So here we have your chainsaw. Now obviously you can see you got all type of debris on it. So what you really want to do first before you get on there, you want to just see how I, I clean it off. You want to clean it off so it don't really kind of clog up on you once you get it together. You really want to clean it off. You ain't got to do, uh, depending on how much time you have, that's, you know, you can go from there. Uh, but since, since this is just to show you how to do a video, I'm not going to really get into deep details because when I'm on the job and, it, and, and the chain slips on me, uh, I don't have too much time to kind of clean it up. But anyways, here, you see this tab right here? This guy is very important. Because what it, what it does, it catches the blade in there. You see it? It goes right into the hole. And that will shift your, your blade up back and forth. All right. And it's a little screw here. And then most of them, see, this is an older model here. So in some of the newer models, it'll have a better system. But for now, I'm going to have to go ahead and adjust the screw back. So if you see here close, if you see it close, you can see it moving back. Now, you have your chain here, and it's very important that you know this. The grooves are only cut on one side, so if you put the chain on backwards and find out that your chain ain't cutting when you know you got a sharp blade, you probably put it on backwards. So make sure you put the chain on correctly so you can go and cut you some wood get it done. So you put your chain on there. Okay. And you put it on, you put it on here. And make sure you find that groove. It's like almost a bike chain when you put your chain on a bike. And you grab your, your uh, flathead screwdriver. If you can come, come on this side and you can see what I'm doing. Down here, you got that screw again. That tightens up your chain. So what you want to do, you want to get your flathead screwdriver. And you want to tighten the chain up before you put the top on. And I'm going to show you in a little bit how it tightens. You see that? You want to get your chain at least, uh, you know, tight enough where it stays on there. And you have your bolts. You got two bolts that takes off this cap. We'll clean that. You see that, all that junk? That means we put in a lot of work with this guy. And... <laughs> It's pretty much time to clean it up. For me, I'm going to just go ahead and knock that off like that. And I'll clean up the truck door a little bit later. <laughs> but follow suit. You put these on here. And you got these. You need, you're going to need a, a 3-4. That's this guy right here three-fourths to unloosen these. So, before you tackle it, you might want to just go ahead and get you a box like this. See, this this here is just a $20 box. Uh, and you can see 
how it looks. Uh, so they sell them at Walmart, uh, little, uh, little uh, stores like that. So you can just go ahead and take care of what you got to take care of and be on the road without spending a high dollar. So, you don't tighten up. See, see, you see it's loose a little bit. You don't want to tighten up both of them. I mean, one at one at a time. You wanna, you wanna. Basically, what I was trying to say, don't tighten up both of them to both of them is kind of uh, tight. So you can come back to the first one and then go to the second one. See how I'm doing that? So it can be even. The the tight can be even down here. So now you have a chainsaw all ready to go. And that's how you put on the chainsaw right there.